G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines with uh, Queensland's oldest Whitley dealer, Northside Marine, and in particular, Dave Chavot. Dave, we've hey, got man. a Whitley sea legend today. Um, give us a little bit of Whitley uh, 101. You know, Whitley make cruises and they make fishing boats. Uh, tell us the difference between the CRs and the SL series. Okay, so the CR is the cruising boat, but it's a, it's a cruising boat that you can still fish out of, and the sea legend is the fishing version with a still good, really good bit of cruisability. So if you're a fisherman, uh, this is a more open deck layout, you know, less of the luxuries and more of the practicalities for wedding a line. That's correct, yes, but it's still family and women friendly, so as in toilet, all the fresh water, all yep. the other bits and pieces. Now, the the Whitley Sea Legend hard top, and that's what we're testing today, yeah, this yeah. is a pretty new one to the lineup, and that hard top obviously really popular in Queensland. We've got a lot of sun, a lot of heat, you know, it's nice to get out of the weather. What are some of the other features of this 22-footer? Uh, Okay, this one too. It's like got the as I said before, toilet down below, double berth, really good layout in the in the in the back of the boat. So it's got really good back-to-back -back seating, which is fantastic seating for fishing and just sitting there and and socialising with people. Really good deep V on the hull too. It's a 23 degree dead rise, so it handles exceptionally well, but it still has a nice big chine line, which actually makes gives it good stability. So it's a very good smooth riding boat in rough conditions and very dry. And of course, it's imminently trailerable. Um, this is powered by Yamaha's F-150. What does this rig uh, weigh on the trailer? This rig weighs around about between 2.2 to 2.4 kilo, 100 kilo on the trailer, yep. Um, so, which means uh, any uh, twin cab, you, you know, Land Cruisers, any of the four-wheel drive style vehicles we have will tow this easily? Yeah, most of the mid-size four-wheel drive SUVs will tow this. It's not a problem at all. Um, Comes on a twin axle trailer that you guys put it together with, uh, easy launching and retrieval? Certainly, it's a McKay tandem axle trailer, really easy to launch and retrieve, it's got a V at the back which catches the boat and some little slipper skids that actually make the boat centre itself all the time as you come up, so drive on, drive very easily or easy to winch on. Now we do a lot of boat, I see you at a lot of boat shows and these guys sell a lot of Whitley's at boat shows, often to get the sign off to buy a boat, the boat has to be comfortable enough for the rest of the family, Apart, you know, dad can fish in anything, he'll fish on a, on a metal crate floating on the water. But if the, the creature comforts are there from the family, it gets the tick in the box. Um, this is a comfortable fishing boat, isn't it? It's a fantastic fishing social boat. Great boat, fit seven people on board, easy to go over to Morton in, just a great day boat with an overnight and capabilities. Now these Whitleys of course, as with the trailer, built in Australia and they're Correct. built in the Whitley factory down in Melbourne. Um, as sort of, you must be nearly Australia's longest Whitley dealer, what sort of input do you have into the design of these things? Well, we, we give a little bit of input. Actually, it's quite interesting because there's quite a few Whitley clubs in Australia. Each state has a Whitley club. And actually, the Whitley family take a lot of feedback from that and they actually do some designing features around what the club people would require. And that's a really good because people out there, they're using the boat, they know what they want and the Whitley actually take on that on board. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. And the Whitley clubs, if you're interested in getting involved socially with other Whitley owners, very active in many states of Australia. So Dave, this uh, sounds like a great boat. Let's put it on the water and come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. Uh, Morton Bay really turned it on and it got a little bit rough and choppy this afternoon for uh, for testing this Whitley Sea Legend 22-footer. It's a, it's around a $104,000 boat package with none of the options. Uh, things like the, the sea deck is standard in this, the bait tank is standard in this, uh, and the freshwater deck wash, they're all standard. But things like the hard top is actually optional in this boat. But when you do order a hard top, you get the rod, uh, the rod uh, rocket launchers and everything up in that hard top. So as tested, this boat came in at $118,000. Um, towability behind the uh, the standard twin cab ute, no worries at all. The drive-on, drive-off twin axle trailer, no worries at all. It does have to have the electric over hydraulic brakes to, uh, to pull it up to be legal. But otherwise, a good deep V uh, nice running boat in the rough water. Now, because it's got a deep V, this Whitley, it, it does need those trim tabs that are on to level the load out. Uh, with a 23 degree dead rise at the transom, uh, this thing chops through that water there. But if you've got an unlevel load, you will need the trim tabs to uh, to to level it out. Performance-wise, this thing has a uh, 210 litre fuel tank inside, which gives you over 300 kilometres range at the best uh, cruising speed. Economically, that's at 4,000 RPM, where it goes 41 kilometres an hour, and you get 1.7 litres, uh, 1.7 kilometres out of each litre of fuel burned. Wide open, she goes uh, 6,000 RPM, 70 kilometres an hour. So it's a sporty little boat. It'll get you to and from the fishing spots properly. But with things like the, that reverse seating, you can can very easily turn this into a boat that the family is going to like as well whether it's the kids jumping off the hard top into the water climbing in and out over the transom uh, it's a serious fishing boat with a family friendly aspect to it now if you want more information about it make sure you see the guys at Northside Marine visit their Facebook f uh, page which is Northside Marine your boating partners for life or their website www.northsidemarine.com.au